You know, for the most part, most of us live lives that are pretty routine, repetitious. We might even use the adjective mundane. So we find ourselves escaping our reality through the media of videos, TV, whatever channel or method that we might find some excitement. Well, Hollywood and movie makers have learned that, and even YouTube creators have worked off of that aspect that is so real in most of our lives that they want to escape and find something new, never seen before. Well, you know, the reality is that's not most of our reality. And that is the case here also at the wheelwright shop. I don't always do things that are exciting. There's oftentimes much that I have to do that is repetitious. So I realize with an introduction like that, that that's not real tantalizing to say, oh, I want to watch repetition. But you know, last week I went through the process of what it takes to size down fellows in circumference to match the shrunk hubs on these borax wheels. Well, I ended up taking 12 cuts, as you probably well remember. Well, that was just one wheel. I have to do this eight times. So if we take 12 times eight, you know, we have over 100 cuts at minimum. I actually took closer to about 115 cuts out of these wheels to size them down to match the shrunken hubs that fit now the Mojave Desert climate. When I prepare to size tires to fit wagon wheels, it comes down to a mathematical equation. So even though these wheels are so extra large, the mathematics still work the same. So I measure the outside circumference of the wood wheel, and then I compare it to the inside circumference of the steel tire. But I want the steel tire to be two tenths of one percent smaller in circumference than the OD of the wood. So in these cases, we have 224 some inches, you do the math, I'm going to take out five-eighths of an inch on these rear wheels and closer to a half inch on the front wheels.
I noticed in the comment section that many of you were astute enough to realize that if these hubs have shrunk that far to make these wheels loose, then don't we also need to tighten the hub bands? And you're absolutely right. In 2019, when I finished the water wagon, we took that down for the 50th anniversary of Bishop Mule Days. Well, that year in May of 2019, we went through and reset all the hub bands on these two main wagons. But there's been another three years since that point and they have continued to shrink, although at a lesser rate. So there were a number of these hub bands that also needed to be tightened again on these borax wagon wheels.
Well, our last step in this whole process is actually do the welding on these tires, build a big bonfire to heat these up, and then shrink them onto the wheels. Hopefully we'll get into that next week's video. Once again, thanks for watching.